Jack, I, and you played Zach Beats as well, didn't you? Yeah. For Bristol. Yeah. How does how how are we talk about Zach Beats? Because in my opinion, well, I guess I've never been a Zach Dose player. I I hate playing against it. Pees me off to no end. I'm a man of my player, so I put Inke down nine times out of ten, it's disappearing. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? I must have played three stretches at this point, you bastards. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> like, but like, I was saying, we were saying to Dimitri earlier, I was like, we were talking about the flare, um, Reshi's our match with Zapdos, right? He's like, it's fine, just three shot it and you won, and you won your trade. And I'm like, yeah, but it's got 270, you can't guarantee you're going to two shot that. Mm. That's like, what, 150 twice? You, they can't guarantee that. So I think that matchup seems a bit dicey. And what with other random stuff as well, like uh, Buzz Mosa. It seems like HP is just slowly like the average. Like if you were taking an average HP of decks, mm. I reckon it's probably at least creep up a little bit, right? And you get yeah. stuff like baby blounds and non jacks that I can trade with you just as well. So, in my opinion, like a Zap Beast, it might is. I think it's getting a bit worse. But yeah, you know, I've got two Zap Beast players here, so I'm not gonna have my head chewed off in a mm. sec. So, uh, my question to you two, we'll start with you, Dimitri, is: uh, Can Zapdo stay super dominant? have a stranglehold on the format and if so how and if it doesn't and if it can't why is that i think it, it can still be very strong and that's because like it's just a very like the jirachi engine is insane okay like zapdos and jirachi are two incredibly strong cards and then i think a lot of people when when choosing a deck they often think oh uh, what matchups do I want to face with this deck? But a lot of people forget about raw strength of the deck. Okay. And then I think that's what Zapdos has. It has a lot of raw strength. It's just forget about matchups. It's just an incredibly good deck. And we were talking about the Zard matchup earlier. I yep. I personally think it's fine. Okay. Like, I've never tested it, but theorying it in my head. Okay. It's like so. Zards is worth three prizes. Yep. If you can take three turns to kill it. Yep. Um, that's yeah, that's fine. And then, uh, there's ways that you can kill that last one, being a big Coco GX with a lot of E powers, choice bands, etc. Or when they're on their two prize turn, Nihilego with Beast Energy Choice Band or Choice Band Shrine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I echo all of that. I think the Rushes out matchup is. Um, fine in seventy percent of cases. I think wow, it's okay. like it's even. I don't. Sorry, I don't think it's a 70, 30 in your favor. I think oh, seventy percent. Seventy percent of uh, rushes. I think should be at least fifty fifty with you. Okay. Because um, like you, like Dimitri says, you can tap it under them and you can hilligo them. Um, you can also. If they're not playing, the, the big card for them is whether they're playing um, Mill Tank or not. Yeah. Yeah. Mill Tank is what makes the matchup <laughs> more favourite. He spoke about this yeah, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, what does what does Mill Tank do? I told him, he was like, nah, that has to be for one energy. He's like, now yeah. look at it. He's like, like, oh my god, it doesn't say one. <laughs> I was like, is it one yeah. turn? <laughs> that's, the, that's the scary thing. Mm. Um, and basically, I think the Reshizards that are playing Miltank will probably have a favourable match, oh. favourable Zapdos. If they're not playing Miltank, and I don't know what lists do and what don't, I don't know what, yeah, how popular Miltank is or isn't. I think if you're not playing Miltank, I think it should be favourable for Zapdos because, like you say, you have Th Tapu Thunder, you have Nihiligo. Um If you are playing, uh. Mill tank, it's harder. It also depends on what the Zap Beast is playing. Um, Zap Beast gains three really cool uh, cards from this set. Well, four actually. Mm. It gains three no attackers and poker gear. Poker gear is a really, really cool card. Yeah. Um, or finding turn one Lily if you don't find it off your Archie. I haven't tested whether I want to play them, play them or not yet, but I think it seems quite good. You also gain Kartana, which is uh, if you're on four prizes, you do 130 for one grass. That's really cool oh, it because it's. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. it's 10 plus, 10 plus 120. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Uh, that's really cool because it's a buzz wall, but you're in control. Mm -hmm. um, all of, like, I haven't tested any of these. I don't know what I'd put in. I have theory behind all of them, but I also have, uh, I have theory and things I like about all of them, but I also have stuff I don't like. Uh, but yeah, Katana is really, really cool because it can, um, like I say, do 130 for, uh, one for, 130 for one on your four prize turn, which is cool. Um, it also has false swipe, which mm -hmm. you can 
Uh, if you, if this stay if it stays alive, you can Coco Prism plus attach. And with a Shrine Tick, you can knock out a tag team uh, on a coin flip. So like it has a usable second attack. It's yeah. not good at all, but it has a usable second mm-hmm. attack. Whereas like swing around is a lot harder to get uh, online because you have to double rainbow well. it. Like that's scary. If you're it's playing, like, a tag team well. there. Like yo, it <laughs> you is, have to keep that in the back yeah, of your head. It is a it is a coin flip, which is kind of sucky, but. Like I say, it is potentially three prizes, so it's something you can do at least. Like Nihiligo's second attack is useless. Yeah. Um, so it's something you can do. There's also Buzz Ferramosa tag team, which is one that I am in half the time I love it, half the time I hate it. If you start it, it is awful. It is so That's like you saying, it's yeah. so bad. Yeah. So so bad. If you don't start it, um with a beast energy, you do eighty for one, but you take two prizes if you knock out a Pokemon. And that's really, really good for the mirror. Uh, it gives you another win, con- uh, another way to get back into the prize race in the mirror, because the mirror is all about who takes the first prize. Yeah. This flips that, and if they're not playing it and you are, you yeah. can go one prize down and still hit them. Uh, you can kill a Jirachi with it, which is cool. Oof. Like I say, if you start it, it's really, really bad. If you start it against the fire stuff, it's awful. Mm. Um, but in general... If you don't start, like it's like saying if you start Coco, it's really bad. Well, sure, but you still play Coco, so you know you get yourself another bad star. Uh, you can also Jet Punch, which is cool for a Rainbow Energy to set stuff up, which is nice. Um, finally, you gain Spiritomb, which is a really, really interesting one. Spiritomb has the ability that lets it put a damage counter on itself every turn, um, and then it has the attack for one Dark Energy. It does ten plus thirty for each damage counter on it. So if you have four damage counters, you're doing 130. So you can do 130, so you can knock out things like Buzzwall, um, things like uh, opposing Tapu Kokos, things like Baby Blounds. You can knock them all out for one energy, uh, which is another really, really nice thing for preserving E-powers, which are really, yeah. really important in price trade matchups. Um, that one is actually potentially the one I'd play over all three of those right now, just oh, in, okay. in my head, because 130 is a really, really nice number and it's kind of semi... It's not really conditional. And also, yeah. if they're killing that, they're not killing a Jirachi, they're not killing a Zapdos. Um, similarly, if they're killing... Like, if they're killing a Buzzwall, you're in trouble. If they're killing a Kartana, again, they're not killing a Zapdos. Uh, and the other nice thing about Kartana is I believe it has free retreat. I think um, it does, yeah. It does. So it's, another, it's a nice pivot. But the 130 damage is a little bit more conditional. Uh, whereas if they're taking out... Like, you don't... This... Spirit Tomb is not a threat until you attach a Rainbow Energy to it. Mm-hmm. So you can just sit there with three counters and just wait. Um, which is really, really cool. I don't I don't think I play any of them it, fundamentally. I think I'd just go I think I just try and make my list more consistent with Poker Gears. Right. But I really like the Spirit Tomb after talking to a couple of people about it. And I really like the thought of Buzzmosa. Um the other thing about the uh, the, the other thing about the Kartana, and arguably the Buzzmosa as well, but I think more so the Kartana, is Lycanroc seems to have dropped. Um, mm-hmm. If Lycanroc comes back, Kartana is really, really good. Yeah. Uh, because you can happily force your way into taking two random prizes and basically stop them from ever playing a Lycanroc down. Mm-hmm. If they do, they have to worry about Nihiligo and Kartana now, uh, If then, which means they can't play a Lycanroc down, which means they have to Guzma your threats. If they're Guzma your threats, they're not Ace Aurora. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is which means you can two shots up doses. So if Lycan Rock starts to see more play, Katana gets good again. Um, but I don't think Zoro Rock is ever good enough anymore. I think Rock is way too slow. Um, I would build Zoro very very differently now. And yeah, so that's how I see Zapdos. I think it can compete still. Um, there's enough Pika on around to still do well. There's enough mirrors around to try and grinch your way through mirrors. Baby Blounds seems sketchy. Um, and I haven't fully worked it out in my head yet. I think it probably is unfavorable for you, but if you play your own Let Loose, that's a big deal. Yeah. Um, if you play a Field Blower, that helps. Like but in general, I think I think the matchup is probably unfavorable for you. Um, I don't know that Baby Blounds is good enough. Uh, I think it probably is, and I think it, Baby Blounds has gone through a really weird cycle where people said it was really, really good from the Japanese results. Um, it was released over here, and everyone was slating it because it wasn't doing as well for them, but it's actually a really difficult deck to play from what I know. Hmm. Um, and because of that, you can't just pick it up and play it. 
So people wrote the deck off, but now people are getting refined lists and now people are learning how to play the deck. It actually seems really good again. So I think it's a scary, bad matchup to have um, if people are playing it. But if people are just playing the Rushes out stuff, I actually agree with Dimitri. I think it probably is fine if they're not playing the Miltank build. Uh, I just don't know how many people will be playing the Miltank build because I don't know enough about the Reshizard meta and yeah. what people are playing. If Miltank is in every Reshizard deck, then I wouldn't play Zapdos. If, yeah. uh, or I would be more scared to play Zapdos. If Reshizards are not playing Miltank ever, then I think your matchup is fine because you have answers, like you do have answers against Picarom and stuff. So there we go. I guess co as a pretty comprehensive answer is to share, as to say, share your wrong. <laughs> well, here's I mean, what... no, I can see. To be fair, I can see why you you're not sure because the the HPs are going up and up, yeah. and that is a that is a scary thing for that dose because it wants to take prizes quickly. Yeah, it can't so, do that. Yeah, actually, but I think least. I think that's fine as long as there's there's prizes there. Like it's okay taking yeah. a few turns to kill something as long as you're taking free prizes.